Oh, are we actually gonna go on the cable car? Yes. Oh my God. How was your time here in the yard? Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, we're picking up from the Cuba vlog. We're now in the Dominican Republic. We're in DR, we're in Puerto Plata. We're staying at Emotions by Hodelpa. It's an all-inclusive resort. It is absolutely beautiful from what I can see right here. This is one of three pools. There's some day beds right there. There's a common pool out there. Of course, you know, breakfast main area, lunch main area, restaurants, you know, arcade, the whole nine works for an all-inclusive resort. It is a complete 180 to what we experienced in Cuba. There's free Wi-Fi here 24 seven. We don't have to hustle and we don't have to bustle. And the food here thus far has been good because we made a stop on the way from the airport and because the flights coming in from Cuba only land at an airport that is three hours away. So we had to take three hour transport to this hotel. But this is not the hotel that we're leaving from. We're leaving from an airport 25 minutes away from here. But if we came directly from Jamaica, we would have landed at that airport and it would have literally taken us 20 minutes to get here. Anyways, very excited for the city tour tomorrow to see what they are is giving the girls. And then Wednesday we have some other excursions and stuff planned. So definitely looking out, looking out. I hope you guys have enjoyed or and are enjoying the Cuba vlogs. If you have not watched them, go back and support them on my channel. This is what the room is giving. Let me show you guys a quick tour. So two beds, as you can see, it's not two prison bed. <laughs> not over Cuba. If she ran this so she enjoyed fear like a self in this madness. The door, bathroom is around up there. The TV is disrespectful though for that big space up on the wall, I could have one better, but I don't understand all of them are on the TV, so I'm not really gonna watch it. We get a little Mont Blanc. Get us a little fruit. It's definitely giving all-inclusive vibes. I think I'm gonna really and truly enjoy it here. Did I tell you guys we got some food? We got some food on the way here. Like we made a little pit stop. Um, I cannot remember the place name. Something, something like resident, resi residential jefe. Something like that. But I got some, um, what do you want to call this? I got some chicken, you don't want to call it like stew chicken. It wasn't, it, it wasn't bad. It's here. It never tastes bad. It's good. And I got some rice and, um, peas and rice. And I got some little Cuban, little Cuban. Cuba calls me. I got some Dominican snacks. Some mofongo and hojuelitas. Hojuelitas. And I also bought a donut because the donut looks very fluffy. Like, look how fluffy this donut is. It is so big. Look how big this donut is, my people. And then I have half a little by little because it's sweet and it's full of sugar, but it is so soft. Like, when you grab it, it bounces back. But, yeah. Looking forward to this vloggy vlog. And I will definitely see you guys a little bit later on because I'm about to decompress. It was an hour flight here from Cuba. It was really quick. It's just a three hour drive from the airport that really got me and I was just like, ah. Uh. So I'm gonna, even though I slept on the bus, the day for me right here is kind of done. Like I'm not really up to do anything and we're here until Friday. So I'm gonna take out my clothes, decompress. I need to finally send my vlog videos over to my editor because the Wi-Fi situation in Cuba, I wanna know that. So I'm gonna get that done and the restrictions. We can't go up on TikTok, so much things. Jesus, free me up. Anyways, I'm catching up on the rebound. Hey guys, good morning. It's officially the first day for me. <laughs> in DR like official day day yesterday I'm so sorry people could not make it but tell the number was gonna decompress but lie down you understand how many for pack out 
bowl of fat nap. Okay, got up, um, went to dinner later on in the night, and then I came back and I went to connect with my TikTok family because they missed me because the no TikTok in Cuba was dangerous. But we're up now. This is the outfit of the day. This is the outfit of the day. How are we feeling in the comments? I'm gonna see what the boy have one over there. If you wanna see the photo anywhere by Instagram, anywhere, wanna look at it? Like the picture, okay? And follow me to keep up for more content. I'm gonna grab something at lunch really quick because we have to depart for a city tour at 2 p.m. and the people are on their shit. They sit and remind us everything, so. I'm not trying to miss the bus. So yes guys, this is downstairs. This is what it's giving. It's a nice property. It's not like anything crazy, but it's also doing what it's supposed to do. The beach is down that way, and there's a beach bar down that way as well. And this is the way to the buffet main area bar. This is the tea. The booty is booting. Yeah. Yeah. Grab a little bite. Alright, so I've got some food. Table one clean though because it's a busy lunch time right now. Hi. So this is what we're having. I think this is pork chops, some salsa, chicken chili, and rice. What's your talk? Yeah, I'll stick to what I know. For y'all. For y'all? Yeah. And I have a cream of. Broccoli soup, I believe. The soup last night wasn't bad for dinner. I'm not gonna lie to you. The soup wasn't bad. It was a cream of something. I don't remember what it was, but the table one wipe off the door. So we're gonna grab it's now it's now 138. So we have about 20 minutes before we depart. The pork, amazing. That's okay, but the most flavorful thing. Warm. Take the cream of breakfast soup. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, but that angle is. And it's hot. In the name of Jesus. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the soup something already. It's gotta be hot. If you're not at a juice, waste a time. <laughs> 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 Alright guys, so we made it to the rum tour. It's Makori's house of rum. It's probably my back pocket. Nice little rum tour. The house of rum in the Dominican Republic. So we're gonna taste rum and all that fancy stuff. You know them love a rum tour in the Caribbean. You know them love, love one. You can call me Gets, easier for you. Now we're going to the aging warehouse. For your safety, you can smoke or take flash pictures. Normal pictures are allowed, just no flash. Good? Mm -hmm. Alright. All right. Yeah. Talented. Bust the door. Happy and rocky. Maybe that's a dot door. Pure darkness. Pure darkness. You really have problems, no ghosts. And the wood allows all the aromatic elements to interact with the liquid. The first year. 50. Once a perfect batch has been selected, they are allowed to fuse for some time. 
140 are reduced with pure water. Over to the bottom of my liver to the final. Need a license for it. Watch the video. Ooh. Ooh. Right here is the rum. You can have a cup. That's a lot of shots, guys. What the hell? All right, guys. So we made it to a cable car. This is the second stop after the rum tour. So we're heading up the stairs now. It seems like a couple of flights of stairs. Um. So yeah, I'm loving the DR because places here have free Wi-Fi. Ah, oh, Cuba wish. Oh, are we actually gonna go on the cable car? Yes. Oh my god, it looks like we're going to find a patrol. So guys, we're really going to go on the cable car. It literally just came from out this so. Oh my god, how far up we go? Oh wow, I wonder how long is the journey? No, I'm not angry. As long as it's not hot. It's not a window. I'm not seeing a window for this. Oh, I never saw you. Did you guys see Kevin's OOT yesterday? Oh, oh. I want to saw your OOTD. There we are. Yeah. Come on, guys, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh my! Oh, it's a smooth ride too. It's a very smooth ride. You see all of the Dominican. Like when I got done, we're pretty high up. This is where we are. You guys can see the wood. Oh wow, what a beautiful sight! Oh, awesome. Awesome. Oh boy, up here get cloudy, man. Boy, cloudy. It's cloudy. It's cloudy. It's cloudy, man. Oh, up here so cloudy, man. Oh, it's chilly. It's chilly, man. Wow, it's a lot of fog and a lot of mist. Up here so cloudy, man. Oh, it's very chilly up here. I love it. If a wife is the name of the mountain, Fernanda Isabel de Torre. Oh. A king for Spain and England. Oh, this is so nice. Wow. That is crazy. So, we're going up to the Christ Redeemer. The statue right up here. Watch Christ Redeemer, man. 
Oh, Angda. Hola, 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 but Jesus Guan. Jesus Guan do Jesus Guan fabulous. Jesus Guan. But we take some ad pictures here now. If you want to see them on the internet, I'm going to take them. I tell them I'm going to take some nice pictures here. If you want to see a jump on the internet, I'm going to take them. My angle, yeah. I'll have to do vacation at QP. Yeah, my angle, yeah. Let's get the best pictures of each other. Yeah, my angle, my angle is. Right, man. Kevin got a really nice one, though. Here at Jesus? Yes, holding his hand. It was really good. Oh, blacky, black man to you? Yes, no, no, orange can't angle me again. Oh. Orange, I work hard though. I forget orange, I like a tip. Oh, I forget orange, I like a tip, man. <sighs> okay, the time is now 5.13. We're leaving the cable car tour. I would have highly recommend that. You guys could definitely check that one out. It was a very good stop. Um, the Christie statue. Um, just the cable car ride, everything was just amazing. And the room tour this morning was also very good, I'm not gonna lie. I would recommend it. I like when tours are concise and to the point. You know, like when I spend three hours there. You understand what I'm saying? So now we're gonna head to some other places. I'm excited about the Umbrella Street though. Yeah, so. Hope you guys are enjoying the DR vlog thus far, even though it just starts, but. I'm gonna see how best I can, or how much I can show DR to you guys, but so far, Loving DR, it's an amazing time. So, yeah. <laughs> Mm. That's why the name Larry Mar. Larry Mar. Yes. Oh, Larry Mar. We don't sport the stone. It's forbidden to sport the stone because the mine is too small. Yeah. Only one mine. It's calculated only one year and uh, ten years, and then no more Larry. Mar. That's why it's only seven years located. This is their precious stones. Um, one is called Latimar, which is the blue one, and the other one is called the Amber. The Latimar, which is this, that they used to make the jewelry and stuff. It's from a mine, but they have like 10 more years before it's like run out. And then the Amber is also from the mountains. So they get their Amber from the mountains, but in other countries, the Amber comes from the sea, like they have to dive for it. For them, for them they, they just have it in the mountains. Here's a mixture of amber. This is happy hour. Amber and Latimer. How much is this? The price is in US dollars. 1886. Amber and Latimer. The price are in Dominican pesos. So that's the Latimer. Okay. So that's the US. Brown side. 1886. And that's the best. Awesome. Alright, so we left the jewelry store. We're walking up some more. The bus is all the way up there, so. Pamela. Pamela. She's a tour guide. She's telling us um, that the Umbrella Street is a little bit up from here. And that's how we're meeting Depan right now. I'm most excited about the Umbrella Street. Is this? Is this the Umbrella Street right here? Yes. Oh, I can see the umbrella. What's it? Well, let's, let's see what the Umbrella Street is giving. Oh. Oh. Content secured. So you bought it? It's a candy for the content secured. Right. Right now I can use something to eat. I think it's a And my bed at the hotel. La Hotelia. No, oh, them sell pizza and stuff here. I also have a little yeah. snack right there, so. I want a juice though. Yeah, I will do that. I want like a fresco and Pepsi. We're gonna take a nice slushie. Yes. For sure. Yeah, okay. I want coconut bar that. Oh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very hungry. Oh, very hungry now. I'm not very hungry, but I'm gonna eat something. Oh, fair. Alright, guys, so we made it to the Pink Street. The last stop on the tour. I'm gonna have to stop at the La Famacia. I'm by one. Oh, sorry, baby. I'm by one soap. I can't work with the hotel soap. God, no, I can't work with the Eva Bar Gel Bar Gel. 
But yeah, pink, pink street, all the way pink. It's nice. Oh, upstairs is pink too. Cute. All right, people, I'm ready. Me, me, really forgot back at the hotel. God no. So this is the entrance of the pink street. Yeah. What the bus there now? Bit and come up. I don't want them um, to from it to her. Come look at Fiji. Yeah, there they go. Oh, there you go. Awesome. One video. One video. One video. One moment. Video. Okay, guys. We start to get some gelatina across the road. I have the cherry and I also have the crocantino and the amarina. De Helado. And I want to see where right just now. This is the name of the place. Very good. Would highly recommend. DR is DRing right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cheers. Alright. So it's like a final dinner type. Watch Alicia. Oh, you do makeup. Oh. Hey guys, so I'm not really sure where I left off in this vlog, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, but we're running late to a nice little gala dinner just to culminate the end of the trip. Yesterday was a down day to enjoy the restaurant, I mean enjoy the property and everything. Um, and today they had like zip lining, dune buggy, waterfall, but this trip turned into, turned into a quick r and I very quick because I didn't even go to that. So yeah, the trip turned into a quick r and R for more reasons than one. So this is Kevon. Kevon, show them your outfit of the night. Mm-hmm, period. This is my sis, giving curves very much. Let me take a photography. A photograph. It smells good though. Does it smell good? Oh, it does. Oh, it's not, it's not bad. Right? It's not bad. First impression. Oh, it's good. Oh, I see the blue cheese. Oh, the blue cheese. Cream of celery and asparagus. Blue cheese in the back is bitter, man. That's just like food and cheese and ham. You're going like you know what's funny. So the man just said. You say ham right? That's what's here, though? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, did you say queso? Ah, see there? I know Spanish a bit. Okay. Oh, no, no. It's not a cheese. Cheese, cheese. Ah, tuna and cheese. Tuna and cheese. Mm -hmm. This is tuna and cheese? Yeah. Oh, I don't eat tuna. Never mind. All the cheese. Huh? All the cheese. This is all the cheese. All the cheese. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll have this one. Mm -hmm. Thank you. God bless you. Mm -hmm. So, this is the main course. Um, so we're down to we're down to the shrimp and the steak. That is the camarones e. Churrasco. Churrasco. Yeah, anga, anga. So this is the dessert. We're having coconut souffle. How is it? Oh, bien, 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 bien. Bien, muy, muy, muy bien. Muy bien. Can I say dale? Dale, guys. Let me try it. Let me do hands free. Apparently. Jamie and Kilina. 
Yes. 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 Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate. Right. So we are now. So we're gonna have the coconut souffle. Oh, you can tell it's curdy. Oh, it's nice. I wish it was cold. I wish it was like. I wish it was like a little bit chill, not cold, but like chilled. Yeah, I wish it was chill. Oh. Oh. I wish it was chill. But otherwise, it's nice. It's good. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I don't know where I left off in the last clip. When I hear them Jamaica people there, you can know that Jamaica people are here because they are the loudest on the freaking property. Um. So yeah, where did I leave you guys? Yesterday, I think I came in and I just run to eat some food. Was it the pink wall I left you guys at? I don't remember. I'm gonna eat that camp when I'm in that pool. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy the day today. I have a very loose day, no activities planned. It's a lovely day right now. As you guys can see, what to do I'm gonna take a dive in that pool. There's another pool around there, but I really feel that this one see more, you know, adults, no kids. Cause you know, me couldn't work with the hip hop in the bit at the screaming. But yeah, I'm having a good time. I have a post to make right now, I think. I forgot to make a post on my Instagram. If you guys haven't seen the content just far, make sure you go back and support the content. Support the photos. Um what else? Yeah, I'm just gonna chill today. The hour is a very chill trip. Tomorrow we're supposed to go ATV, zip lining, you know, waterfalls, but I don't know. That they're Jamaica. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna find something else to probably do. Um that I haven't done before. But that is DR overall. DR is a lot of ATV. That is their main attraction for tourists, like ATVs, dune buggies, waterfalls, zip lining, all that there, Jamaica. So I'm gonna do some research and probably take an excursion by myself or with my friends because Uber is here, we can get around freely and all of that. So mega matsit, mega matsit, mega matsit, mega matsit. So yeah, and transport here is very easy. Like five dollar and them some of them a thir thirty minutes ride and them something. You can't get them the kind of ride for five dollar in our US. You're not you're not having an inside vice. Why you talk so loud? I should have write this song. You know have no ins all no minute here Anishka vice. Anika. Anika bo sorry, Anika. Oh. <laughs> she said, oh. So me not eat no food. You know some really outside though, I'm really stink. Look in this suitcase. I don't know what I come out the people in place so with 57 pounds. 57 pounds of what? Pure shots, my have on jeans and bottom. I mean, I have no top. This top is what I wear to go to Cuba to the airport. I mean, I have no other top. Now look at now look at Kaylee's top. I'm top can't sleep in her. But I mean, I have no look at Kaylee's. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I'm gonna head downstairs. Okay guys, so it's time to depart the lovely emotions by Hodelpa. It's the last day in Pura Plata and we're heading back to Santa Domingo now. So a little city tour before we head off to the airport. The flight is in the afternoon at 4.15 I believe, which means it's 3.15 Jamaican time and it's an hour and a half. But I'm not gonna lie the last time. I don't know if I the Spanish highlight man them, but them rip up sky. Cause we got to Cuba in literally like 30 minutes. And it was supposed to be like an hour flight. I might tear up the road, tear it up. So I'm about to check out right now and I'll take you guys along with me for the city tour part of Santa Domingo. So yes guys, what a time, what a time, what a time. 
I, as I said guys, I don't know how meaty this DR vlog is going to be because really and truly, as I said, the Wednesday and the Thursday, rest and relaxation. And I also didn't want to take you guys along with that because, I mean, why would you want to just see just laying around by the pool, you know? But hopefully this tour is going to be a little bit exciting in Santi, Santa Domingo. Yeah, we head to the flight and head back to Jamaica. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very much excited to go back home. I get homesick very easily. But just when I'm ready, I'm ready. I want to ready to clock out. Like, when I want to do nothing, my body just shut down. I just want to sit down and wait till my flight comes out the yard. That's exactly what it is. You know, I am a couple of days. Oh, what are the Amazon things? I don't mind my business. I don't know, little mama business. Um, so yeah, catch you guys in Santa Domingo because I'm pretty sure I am about to sleep on this bus ride because it's literally 7.05 a.m. My eye won't close. Wake up too early, man. Okay, guys, so made it to the rest stop on the way back to the airport. Um, this is what it's giving. This is where we are. So they have, they have like a restaurant here. Like a bathroom stuff. There are multiple restaurants though. There are multiple restaurants. And they like convenience stores inside. We can get like snacks and stuff. Um, I got a, um, I got a donut here when I was coming. Which was so fluffy, so nice. But it's sweet though. But thirsty did not kill me because I just jump up out of my sleep. So I got a Gatorade and a cookie and just some gummy bears because we're going to actually stop for lunch momentarily. So we have another two hours back to Santiago. This is just half of the trip. So we're going to eat after that tour. Um, but I'm just updating you guys as we go along because remember I said the DR trip and vlog they really have nothing in it. So. Yeah. How was your time here in the yard? Huh? <laughs> Tonight, so please don't show me. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You, of all people, you experienced more than us. I was in my room. You were out at the beach. Oh, that's where you come from. I mean, I had a fair time. I I had a good time resting. <laughs> okay, so I first I would have liked to see the itinerary before I left Jamaica, so I would have planned better to be a part of the stuff. But apart from that, I have to come back to the yard. For sure. Definitely have to come back. Like, crap. If I'm coming back to the yard, I mean, I'm coming back to either Punta Cana or Santo Domingo. As you can see, I'm very much out of breath over those steps. This is what's ahead of us. It's very nice. I love it. The bird, the pigeons are flying around. It's very, I could see myself having lunch out here. It's very nice. Okay, so this is where we are. Oh, this is so nice. A 
so we just done grabbing lunch really quick this street is such a nice street to like be on because it has like all these things to offer like look at the street food and stuff and it's just a nice long strip to just walk and just enjoy you know so we're in Santa Domingo right now it just I don't know it's just giving I'm gonna have to come back to Santa Domingo because this look like we're like in the heart of just everything you know you know you can step out of your hotel you can just walk do what you need to do there are food spots they're like cultural spots there's a nice cute park right here like you can do this with a carriage ride there was a train here earlier the park is like over there it just seems so rich with culture i'm so sorry i'm leaving why we never come that side yeah with the angle this if we never have a flight in two hours oh my god and if we never ready to go back home neither my 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 we made it to the airport you understand me oh my god we're almost at home oh my god i'm almost at my casa i am so excited to reach home to my casa i'm so excited we're almost there i just have to wait two and a half hours to board this flight but hey we're almost there. The project one go over the yard. Sushi bar, juice bar. Oh no, the airport angle. All right guys, so I was just overweight with Arajet. It was 44 pounds and I was 53 pounds. So I had to pay some money. Um, and we made everything else work because tea and Kev was also overweight. But I'm trying to get some um, little Dominican So I think it would be nice to get some stuff to like carry back home. These are like very nice. Look at the flamingos and the elephants on here. Cute. Cute. So yeah, that's what I don't know. They have a suitcase and stuff in here. Mr. People. But they want to add for where we're all fitting a Cuba. And I'm going to come at the yard with a little piece of my flat. Pull out a cigar. I got some snacks here. As y'all know, I did a video on my channel trying like Trinidadian snacks. So I'm gonna see if I can do a video trying Dominican Republic snacks just to rate them. So you guys can probably look out for that video. I don't know how to do, I don't know who to do the video with. If you have a recommendation of who we could possibly do that taste test with, let me know in the comments. <laughs> But so far, I don't know. Okay, guys, so made it onto the flight. It's actually a pretty big plane. Mara Jet, I never know that's so not one. It's a pretty big and spacious, beautiful plane. I'm not gonna lie. Big man. Very big. Um, I'm just happy right now to go back to my yard. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Can you see something at home? Turn up AC, man. I'm ready to get my yard ready. Now, 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 now. Can't come to my house. I want to eat a big fat fried chicken with pork gravy. Just for reintroduce my palate to some Jamaican food. I'm gonna take a wash out right after. Clean out the whole of the Espanol out of my stomach. Pure Espanol food out. Take out the whole of the Espanol food out of my stomach. I can't work with it. Can't work with it. Made it back to Jamaica. Please rate our service today. Is anything worse than this one? Because I can press this 50 million times. <laughs> Pure at this. This is not work. This is not work. No, it not work up here. Dot the airport. I'm not too disgusting, man. I'm not have to do better than this. I'm not really have to do better as the capital of the country. As the capital of the country. I'm not stop advocating till they fix it. All right, guys, I made it home safely. Um, am I the only person who, after a trip or a staycation, anything, you 
have to unpack everything and put everything in its right place. Hands up. Is there anybody else in the comment section who has to do that? I mean that. I'm not going to focus, I'm not going to sleep no matter how tired I am. I have to unpack everything. So I took the time to do that. Um, so yeah, I'm back home. Yes, I kill me. Yes, I kill me. Yes, I kill me. Um, I'm not gonna lie, after like the third day in DR, the I eat rice, rice and beans, beans and chicken breast, chicken breast, my body just said, all right, enough. And I just wasn't enjoying it anymore. The first couple of days, it was chef's kiss. Um, they do make a good cream of anything soup. Um, but yeah, I have an extra cup of soup left over from my Cuba stash, so I'm about to have that bust a little gas and people my order the fried chicken but tell her not I don't know if, I don't remember if I did tell you guys though but my, my order want fried chicken I have to revitalize my system bro like my have to revitalize I have to reintroduce it to some Jamaican food so I make an angular fried chicken with curry gravy from M10 and tonight tonight I take it on wash out because as I said everything espanol I have to come out of my stomach I can't go work with it I have to wash it out but I did have a fabulous time in DR. I w I'm, I'm definitely going back to DR. I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna go back. I'm going back to DR for sure. Also again, I will go back to Cuba, but Havana. I don't know, there's something about the Spanish speaking countries that kind of low-key have my heart. I love the, I love the Spanish. And I don't know, it kind of sort of also reminds me of Jamaica, just a whole different culture, that's it. That's the only thing that separates us, like the sea and culture. But the look, the feel, it feels like almost home. Just that whole tropical vibe. I love it. I'm about to catch up on some Kardashians or some other reality TV show. I'm gonna just relax my brain because I've been traveling from 5 a.m. Jamaican time this morning, 6 a.m. over this time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these. Um, culmination of vlogs if you haven't watched them as yet guys go back and watch them there are two new vlogs on the channel um, of course follow me on all socials at quite Perry check out the TikToks check out the reels check out the photos like engage you know show some love and I'm looking forward to doing more travel content guys honestly on my bucket list I have Peru and I also want to go to Atlantis this year um, and maybe further on down in the late year we can do like a Colorado or a Tulum. You understand what I say? But I'm gonna dance. But I had a fabulous time overall nonetheless. I had a lot of rest. I had a lot of relaxation. I do love San, um, Santa Domingo. I wish we had gotten more time to spend in Santa Domingo. So I do believe that if I do go back to ER, I'm gonna go to Santa Domingo for sure. Because it just felt so rich in like culture like you know where we stopped to have like lunch and stuff but as I said guys had a time hope you guys enjoyed the little vloggy vlogs and I will most definitely see you guys in you know the next couple of vlogs again big up to Shaka Tours and yeah much love everybody thank you for the love thank you for the support and I will definitely see you guys in the next coming vlogs oh and check out the videos on my main channel if you haven't as yet go and catch up if you haven't anyways guys bye now